Hello everybody. Today what I decided to do was pick herbs and freeze dry them. I am so excited about having a freeze dryer. Freeze drying is the bomb. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start with, this is my basil. This is my green basil. Okay everybody, so I am going to start with my basil. I have green basil and purple basil. So I am going to trim this and leave these little guys. Why? Because I want more basil. I definitely want more. And all the young ones, all the smaller ones, I'm not going to bother with either. I want this to grow and grow and you have to you have to allow for some to continue to grow. So that you have it through the season. Summer months is when we grow our herbs. It's the best time. For most herbs, that is. Okay, so that's a pretty good hole for the green basil. Now I want to do the, the red. I'm just going to top off because I'd like to see these grow a little bit more. See how I'm just cutting the tips? That's it. Okay, so my basil is now in good shape. Now, hmm, aha. Uh -huh. I am going to This is mint and spearmint. So again, I'm cutting the tops so that it tells the plant go ahead produce some more. Cuz that's important to me. I want to freeze dry. My goal is to have enough herbs cut and freeze dried and packed for the entire year so that I don't have to go to the grocery store. And can I tell you something? It's so worth the time that you put into them because my herbs are going to be a whole lot more flavorful than what the store can give me. Okay, so there's my mint and my spearmint. Now, let me get this out of the way here. Okay, look at this rosemary. Rosemary is a wonderful herb, especially for uh, using it with poultry. But rosemary is extremely prolific. It grows big and wide. Uh, I'm going to top this off because I want more rosemary. <laughs> That's what rosemary reminds me because it's very woodsy. It smells like Christmas. That's so awesome. It is basil, but do you see this? This is Greek oregano. This is Max. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little sidekick. Everywhere I go, my baby Max is with me, and I love him for it. There's nothing like the faithfulness of a little companion. Nothing like it, really. Nothing like it. So I'm tipping this all off because I want this plant to say, hey, let's make more. Because I definitely use plenty of oregano. So I've got my rosemary, my oregano, my basil, 
my green basil and my purple basil and I'm one happy girl today thank you hey everybody okay so I'm about to prepare the herbs to be freeze-dried I'm so excited about this as I said I cannot wait until I have a year's supply that's my goal so that I don't have to go to the grocery store and my food is gonna be so flavorful for my family okay so by the way I did not grow chives this year. I bought now, them. At understand, there's no shame here, okay? I didn't grow chives this year, but they were on sale at Publix, so guess what I'm doing? Out of the package, onto the tray, okay? And I will worry about chopping these up after they're freeze-dried because this is awfully difficult to do when they're moist. So there's some chives. Now, here is, look at this, look at this. That's out of our yard. Oh my goodness, sage leaves. I'm not wasting a single leaf because this is just so wonderful. So wonderful. Sage is another thing that goes awesomely with poultry. Awesome. Wow, that smells pretty strong. Mm -hmm. See, that's why it's great to have uh, fresh herbs. Well, those sage plants are going to be huge pretty soon, so oh, yeah. I think you're going to get plenty of harvest okay, out of it. So here's my oregano. We're going to go and just strip it with two fingers, just like this. There is something to be said also for companion growing. Companion growing is herbs and plants and things like friends. In other words, Let's say in your garden you have one raised bed or a bed of tomato. A wonderful thing to do is grow basil in the tomato bed. And most insects don't like basil. Okay, here we go. And get these off. Where's the rest? So there's sage and oregano. Let me get this out of the way here. Oh, if you could smell how strong the sage is. <laughs> it's actually smelling stronger than the basil. Mm hmm Okay, now here's our rosemary. So we start at the uh, sort of the top because the top is kind of soft. So you want to go kind of where it feels a little harder and just gently pull, pull, pull down the stem. And there is the rosemary. And then clip the top off. I'll do it again. Pull down the stem. And then just clip the top off. Oh my goodness, I love the smell of rosemary. It re rosemary reminds me of Christmas, it really, really does so woodsy it's so yummy in chicken <laughs> oh boy okay by the way if anyone would like to see some cooking videos let me know and let me know in the comments below what your questions are and I will answer them to the best of my ability. What, we, what you'd like to see me cook? I'm happy to do that. Cooking is one of the passions of my life. God just made me this way. I love cooking for my family and friends. Love it. I love entertaining. It makes me so happy. When people are around, gathered around the table, 
and they're happy, I'm happy. Okay, I don't know why I feel like I need to mention this, but I'm just going to, because I'm inspired to. If you're a gardener, it's not about a competition. It's about the joy of the journey. So each year it gets better. Each year you might take more notes on certain things that you want to grow and learn a whole lot more and then the next year plant them. <clears throat> Don't look for perfection. Let it be fun. Let it be fun. All right, so we have our rosemary here on the tray. And I am going to do I'm going to do the purple basil with this. Okay, so, and I've mentioned this before, but I will again, I like, I really come to like OXO um, <clears throat> things for the kitchen. This is a shearing scissor. I do poultry with this. I do everything with this thing. It stays sharp and it comes apart so I can wash it really well. And I just pop it back together and that's it, I'm ready to go. This thing is a wonderful scissor, kitchen shear, I love it. So I'm gonna make this tray all basil. A regular mint. Peppermint? Yeah, peppermint. Uh -huh. I wonder if there's any other kind of mints. I wonder if there's a winter green. Can you imagine if there was winter green? <laughs> winter green is my favorite. Those winter green lifesavers. Oh yeah, my whole life. Is this what you put in the tea the other day? Absolutely. I make sweet tea. It's real simple. The recipe is so simple. Um, you take um, a gallon of water and uh, I like the big Tetley tea family size bags. They're round like this and I put six of them in and because I like strong tea. If, I, if I'm going to drink tea, I want to drink tea. I want to taste it. And then I make, I let that steep for at least 15 minutes or more until it gets very dark and then I'll drain the tea bags out and then I will make a simple syrup with um, a cup of sucanat and a bunch of mint leaves and let that uh, boil until just for a minute or two, it doesn't take long at all. Simple syrup comes together real quick. It's just a matter of uh, making sure that whatever sugar you're using, whether it's one cup of regular sugar, a, a cup of sucanat, it's melted uh, into the water. And then I add the mint leaves uh, and I crush them in the boiling water with the back of a spoon like against the side of the pot so all the oils from the mint leaves release. Um, and then I take that simple syrup and pour it into the pitcher where my tea is. And it's a beautiful mint tea. And Delicious. it doesn't last this house too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially my grandkids. Mm-hmm. All right, I have to eat a basil leaf. I'm sorry. That's all right. You go for it. Oh, boy. So... Hey guys, okay, so I ran out of spearmint and I wanted the tray to be full, so I just went to the other side of the house and got my regular mint 
and uh, peppermint and I'm doing half the tray for spearmint and this half is going to be the peppermint. Good luck remembering which is which. <laughs> All right, Harvest Ride is cooling down, getting ready. She's in the home stretch. We'll be right back. Okay, load trays, closed drain valve. I did. Right, if it's tore, if it's away from the hose. It's perfect. I already checked it. Okay. I cannot believe how much this smells. It's some strong sage and some strong basil. And rosemary, it's all beautiful. Oh, it's a, what do you call it? It's a bouquet of fragrance. <laughs> That's true too. Okay guys. We will see you later when the process is complete. Bye, have a great day. Say goodbye, Max. Okay, so we're about to finish the process. Process is complete. We don't, I don't want it to defrost. I just let it defrost all on its own. Here. That's it, just hit it and wait. Oh, okay. It takes, it takes a minute. Don't forget your little valve over there. All right. Oh, I love the sound, you ready? Like the train coming into station. Woohoo! That's my little humor. That condensation on the outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sure is. Okay. Well, that's cold. Mm hmm. Look at, look. Like a movie set. All right, let me go get my. Okay, so to review, now that I've got these out of the freeze dryer, I have my jars here. We have our oxygen absorbers. That's uh, optional, I think, for spices because you're in and out of the jar so much. But I think maybe a silica pack, which is a moisture absorber, might be a good idea. All right, so I have uh, regular mint, spearmint, rosemary, purple basil, a little bit of sprig of oregano there, chives, sage leaves, and basil. So let me do this. Okay, so I am trimming up my chives as fast as I can. Like I said, I want to avoid moisture at all costs. Okay, so it's easier with a bowl to cut over and this is a canning funnel. Put that in the jar uh, and that makes it easier to get all the herbs in there without making too much of a mess. And a little bit of oregano. Next year I'd love to grow some more. You know, like I said the last time, don't expect perfection. Everything is developing in the garden, always. It's always developing. All right, and now we're gonna go to basil. Basically what she's doing is she's got a different jaw for each herb and then as we periodically 
harvest our, our herbs, we'll just keep packing them in the jar until the jar is full. When the jar is full, we'll start a new jar now and take the first jar and we can put it into a Mylar bag if we'd like. More okay. spearmint. Your spearmint is loaded up. And my peppermint. Because we're just going to keep harvesting. And I do have a whole bed I just planted of green basil and purple basil in the back of the yard because we're going to be stocking it up for a year. And that makes me so happy. One year's herbs. One year. Wonderful. Bye, folks.